Gate set in a teaser. You know who it is. Woman bet, woman reacts. Why don't these states have major sports? That's the reason I threw this on. I saw this, I was like, let me throw this on. Even though I'm not from Minnesota, I'm from Virginia, but Virginia does not have a sports team. No major sports teams. We got, we don't have no major sports teams. Not basketball, football, baseball, hockey, soccer. We don't have any sports teams. So we got to just, a lot of people here like the um, Washington Commanders. I've been in, I had to go to two Commanders games. I went to the first game of the season, Commanders played the Jags. I'm not a Commanders fan at all. I actually hate them. And I just went to the Vikings and Commanders game. I got to drive three, four hours just to see my team play. And that's if they play here. That's once every, I don't know. I, I'm not going to fly to Minnesota just to. So why don't we have a sports team? Now? You know how many people we have here? And I'm from Virginia Beach. So we're in, I'm in southeastern Virginia, like 757 area. So that's Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Portsmouth, Chesapeake, Hampton, Newport News, and Suffolk. That's the immediate seven cities. I know it's more than 757, like Surrey County, Williamsburg, and stuff like that. And I don't want to name nothing else because I'd probably be wrong. But that's the 757. Then we got Richmond. That's 804. We used to be 804, too, when I was a little kid. They changed the area code. You got Richmond. Then you got Northern Virginia that's close by D.C. Now, I mean, I don't know anything that's west of Virginia, like Roanoke and all that stuff. I don't know. Like, like we have college teams over there. We have uh, Virginia Tech and UVA. I feel like they don't represent us. They all the way over there. So, uh, here, like, where I'm at, we have Norfolk State, which is an HBCU. We have Hampton, which is an HBCU. We have ODU. But we have no major sports teams, man. So we're going to just get into this. Let's go. You know that there are 23 states that don't have a major sports, sports team, team, while some markets like New York City slash Northern New Jersey have two major teams for every sports league, yeah, give including us the MLS. Others are as barren as their one? respective landscapes. Some situations are easy to Virginia. figure out, but then there's Virginia, which has a population of over <laughs> 8.6 million people and not a single big league club. Why is this? Well, let's look at them all. Say Why it. don't these states have major sports is coming up right after this. Football season is heavy underway. And do you know what comes with watching football? No, it's not, Why not? false hope. It's eating terrible, expensive food that simply isn't good. New York got Fresh two teams for hockey, two teams for baseball, yeah, two teams for soccer, two teams for football, two teams for basketball, like New York, New what? Jersey Hello area. We have none. You can't slide us one. Shopping. The right portion we can't get one. Food. And they have over 30 dinner recipes. To I'll take hockey every week. I love the firecracker meatballs. I'll take soccer. Real jasmine rice. Only the best ingredients. I'll take baseball. Out of all those sports, that's the least one I want to watch. It's baseball, but I'll take it. It's all here to help you meet your goals. That's one football, of course, we'll take them. Head on over to HelloFresh.com and use code 5 Then they do stuff in, in, in London and stuff in Again, go to Mexico and stuff in Germany. And use code 5 Nothing against them. And get but damn, can we get something? Plus free shipping. So for this list, I divided them into categories and we will wind down to the most fertile <laughs> markets and the reasons why no big league teams want to set up shop there and the Let reasons they should. Let's get into it. Population density. This is the most obvious reason for there not to be a major sports team in a state as you cannot make people appear out of nowhere. Alaska, Montana, North and South Dakota are in the bottom tier for state populations. However, Wyoming gets to win something as they are the least populated state in the union at only 578,803 people. Alaska is the most interesting of the bunch as in the least viable as the largest stadium in the state, Sullivan Arena, can only house 6,290 people. That's double the largest outdoor stadium in the state. Other than a couple minor league teams and a few college football teams like Wyoming, who gave us arm god Josh Allen, Wyoming. these states simply don't have enough people from to Wyoming. support a major sports team. I said that earlier. 
Logistical reasons. Much like why there isn't a pro team in London, Hawaii presents many challenges in the way of simply getting there. The Hawaii Rainbows play in the WAC conference, and lucky for them, those teams are based on the West Coast Never and can stomach the six hour plus flight to the islands. For a major sports team to come here, especially one based on the East Coast, That's you're fine. looking at eight to 10 hours flight time at least. Additionally, the population is pretty low at 1.4 million and those are scattered on different islands. And the final mm -hmm. nail in the coffin is that Aloha Stadium in Oahu has been condemned and the biggest arena on the islands is the 9,300 seat Clarence T. Ching Center. Sorry, but Aloha means goodbye. <laughs> Proximity. Now we'll look at the states that don't have teams because, well, it's just easier to go to a neighboring state and catch a game. Maine, Vermont, and New Hampshire are big feeder markets into Boston, and you can't throw a rock in any of these states without hitting a Red Sox or Patriot fan in their flannel. Connecticut is one of two states on this list that have had a major sports team but lost them when the Hartford Whalers moved to North Carolina. Oh, Connecticutians or however you say it, feed into many of the surrounding states, but mostly New York and Massachusetts. Delaware primarily feeds into Philly, Pennsylvania as they butt up against that John. Rhode Island, the smallest <laughs> geographical state in the union, feeds that into John. the surrounding areas along with their Oxycontin and meth distribution networks. Rhode Island is actually the second state on this list to have lost a major sports team. The Providence Steamrollers were an original member of the NBA from 1946 to 1949, well, we but folded after team. going 46 and 122. Back they the moved day. to Ohio and became the Cleveland Steamers. No, that did not happen. What do you want, a Cleveland Steamer? Quick side note, Kansas almost made the list for having no majors as most of the teams in the area are actually based in Missouri, but Sporting KC plays in Kansas City. Kansas. Now to the biggest category on here, the one involving dollars. So Kansas economy. got number 10. But at Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri, I know that. I know about Kansas City, Kansas because my dude is from now Topeka, Kansas. Now to the biggest Kansas, category on he here, the one involving dollars. Oh, economy. <clears throat> A lot of these states have decent populations. It's that these people are either spread out or they might live below the poverty lines. So bad in fact that Brett Favre starts eyeing their state funds. Arkansas has a population of over 3 million, an anchor corporation in Walmart, and is still not really a viable market for a major sports team. Unfortunately, Walmart's money isn't distributed throughout the state, as evidence <clears throat> to one of the Waltons buying the Broncos, and there really isn't much industry to support a major sports team. They do love the Razorbacks, though, as bad as they have been. New Mexico comes close. They have a AAA baseball team, but once again doesn't have the economic firepower to support a big league club. They could one day get an MLS team, but other than the tourism generated by people wanting to go see the pizza on the roof of Walter White's house, they still have a weak economy. Nebraska is interesting as they host the College World Series and used to sell out Memorial Stadium. However, their 1.9 million residents are divided between Omaha million. and Lincoln. And the two would have to wrestle over which city gets to borrow the team like two brothers fighting over an Xbox. Idaho has Boise State, and that's about all they can support there. I mean, potatoes and being a tax haven for ex-Californians can only take you so far. West Virginia has steadily been dying since both the coal and steel industries have declined, and most of the population supports the Steelers and diabetes. Iowa's largest market is Des Moines, a population of about 700,000, and a city that is about as dull as Iowa's offense. Yeah, the college. Please stop letting these poor children watch your games, Iowa. And that leaves us with Mississippi, with a population of over 2.9 million, but so either. scattered throughout the state, it makes you wonder how do they find all the poor people for Brett Favre to steal from? Well, actually, with a poverty rate of 19.4%, it's not that hard. Unfortunately, Jackson is their largest market, and if you've ever been to Jackson, you know why a major sports team isn't coming there. Now let's cover the most fertile markets and the reasons why they don't have major know. sports. Disinterest. To say Alabama doesn't have major sports is false. The University of Alabama might as well be a professional team. I mean, shit. <laughs> Bryce Young is doing more commercials now than Kanye West. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, wait. Along with Auburn, the in-state rivalry nurtures its own ecosystem of sports-hungry Alabamians who really don't care about expending any energy on anything other than name-calling and talking shit about each other. Birmingham could someday support an NFL team, but drumming up unison support on Sundays after insulting each other's moms on Saturdays is gonna be a tough stretch. Now there's Kentucky, which has two pro basketball teams in the Wildcats and Cardinals where both squads prostituted out Rick Pitino back in the day. What a fitting choice of words. The city of Louisville Louisville. could someday get an NBA squad, as they have had the Kentucky Colonels of the ABA, but why would the established universities allow that unless they profit off of it? They wouldn't just be against the NBA, they would also still be against each other. Probably the most interesting state of all is South Carolina, which has 5.1 million residents, but there has almost never been a huge desire for an in-state major sports team. They aren't really a soccer market, and Greenville and Columbia are close enough to Charlotte for them to go there. In fact, the Panthers logo was designed to be an outline of both North and South Carolina. I guess South Carolina is okay with the pro teams being to the North, kind of like Red is with his bike. Yeah, it's just like it's both ours. Keep it down in my house. Cool. Plus, they have Clemson. That's my bike, punk! And that leaves us with the most perplexing state in the union when it comes to major sports, Virginia. Virginia has the 13th largest GDP in the country. It has the 12th largest population at 8.6 million residents. Not many states outrank the Old Dominion in terms of market viability, yet to this day, there are no major teams. Why? Well, let's start with Virginia Beach. Despite producing a ton of athletic talent, the economy in Virginia Beach is all transient. It's either tourist or the military. A lot of the population just isn't from there, and it seems indifferent to major sports, despite the market size of 1.8 million people, which is still only the 37th largest metro area in the U.S. Next is Richmond, which is small at 1.3 million, but also faces fierce dissent from Washington, Are you talk about Northern Virginia? If you think Dan Snyder isn't petty, then you also think Brett Favre isn't reverse Robin Hood. Dan Snyder (laughs) will do anything in his power to keep an NFL team from being in Richmond, but really, it's not a market that could support it. It's too small and also indifferent. And that leaves us I with named all the, I named a it. densely populated said, shit pile at? of standstill traffic Richmond, and overpriced Northern real Virginia. estate. All the residents up there feed yeah. into the DC market Commanders. as they get to sit for hours in traffic to go visit their pretend city and then return to the suburbs. Luckily for the residents of Nova, they have all five major sports within three hours via I-95 or two minutes if you take a helicopter. <laughs> There are proposals on the table to put the Commander Stadium in, say, Loudoun or Prince William, but there's no official word. So maybe one day the Union's oldest state gets a major sport. But just like waiting for Dan Snyder to die, don't hold your breath. Well, I hope you enjoyed. It's crazy because I was just about to say, I don't even want to hear no more. But it's about to go off anyway. That's crazy that I name. I said, I'm from the 757 area. I'm from Virginia Beach. Norfolk, Chesapeake, Portsmouth, Hampton, Newport News, and Suffolk area, but I'm from Virginia Beach. They named them, and then I said Richmond, and then I named Northern Virginia. I'd never seen this, but it's crazy. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't talk about like the western part of the state, because I don't know anybody from the western part of the state, like anybody, like from, I don't even know, all I know over there is Roanoke. I can't name Blacksburg, because that's where um, Virginia Tech is at. So, I don't know. But we don't have a sports team, so I got to just keep wrapping my Vikings. Been a fan since Randy Moss was there. Um, if, if, if we get a team here, it'll be my second team, man. People will rep them because I can't just leave my Vikings like that. So, I like two teams now, man. Just like my cousin, he liked the Lakers, but he's from New York. He's from Brooklyn, and when the Nets got there, he, he liked Brooklyn too. So, anyways, man, like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Does your state have a, a sports team? If if it does, you're lucky, especially if you're close. Um, if you don't, let me know. What? Gate set in a teaser.